The first effect of love is the union of will. The Most High God, because He loves us, would have us love Him, and hence He demands our hearts, that is, our wills. My son, give me thy heart. Our whole life and salvation depend upon uniting our wills to the will of God, which is the only rule of what is just and perfect. Life, says the psalmist, is in His will. He who is united with the will of God lives and is saved, but he who separates himself from it dies and is lost. No, my God, I will never more separate myself from whatever Thou desirest of me. Give me grace to love Thee, and dispose of me as Thou pleasest. This is the great object of all those who love God, to conform themselves at all times to His divine will. And this is what Jesus taught us to pray for, that we may be able to fulfill the will of God here upon earth, with as much perfection as the blessed do in heaven. Thou will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. St. Teresa made an offering of her will to God, at least fifty times every day, in this imitating David, who said, My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. Ah! How factual fi does one perfect act of conformity to the will of God change the sinner into a saint, as it happened to St. Paul, who by only saying to God, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? From a persecutor of the church was changed into an apostle and vessel of election. O oh my God, I will never more lament the tribulations which thou mayest send me. I know that all will be for my good. I will say always, Lord, may thy holy will be ever accomplished. As thou wheeliest, so do I will. Thou will be done. As it hath pleased the Lord, so be it done. The most certain sign that the soul loves God is its peaceful conformity to the will of God in all adverse O.C. occurrences, such as poverty, sickness, losses, and ruin. In the afflictions which happen to us from the malice of men, we should consider not the stone which strikes us, but the hand of God who casts it. God does not will the sin of those who deprive us of our goods, reputation, or life, but that we should accept such afflictions as coming from His hands and should say as Job did when his goods were taken from him, the Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. As it hath pleased the Lord, so it is done. Blessed be the name of the Lord. O oh my God, I have not acted in this manner. How often, to follow my own will have I despised thine. But then I did not love thee. Now I do love thee more than myself. I embrace all thy divine appointments, and desire to do whatever thou pleasest. But thou knowest my weakness, enable me therefore by thy assistance to accomplish what I now resolve. O holy will of God, thou shalt be from henceforward my whole love. Holy Mary, obtain for me the grace ever to do the will of God during the remainder of my life.